Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I will show you how to set up your video wall with the daisy chain setup. This can be done as following. Every single device has to be connected via HDMI cables using the HDMI 2 port. Now on the very first device, you will have to connect your SBB box. Also via HDMI. You can go and use the remote control for the devices because the remote control for the devices in the SBB box are different. Use the remote control for the devices and you have to set up every single device like this. So click on home on the remote control, head over to video wall, put this option on, make sure the lining is correct so I have 5 horizontal video walls and 1 vertical. This is the very first display and this is the position of my device. So this is the first display and the format has to be on full. And the source put it on HDMI 2. Now the same goes for the second device. So I will open the remote control again to show you how it works for the second device. So this will go exactly the same as the first one. Click on home on the remote control, head over to video wall, turn this option on and make sure the rest of the setup is also the same as the very first one. However, Make sure the screen position is set up correctly. So this is my second device and also has to be selected in the position of the second place. Select the HDMI source as well. Now do this for all your devices. So we've done this five times. Now next up is using the remote control for the SBB box and setting up your SBB box. So connecting it to the Wi-Fi first or through the internet via cable. That's also an option and make sure to connect it to a server, which is what we're doing right now. Finalizing some initial setups, such as the clock and the date. So once that is done, you can continue. And as you can see, the setup has been completed. Now, once the SBB has been connected to the server, you have to log in as server admin onto your server and approve the device, which is the SBB box in this case. So make sure to select it, select the organization and the group you want it to be connected to. Click on save and here at the number of slave devices, you have to put the amount of devices that you have. So for me, it will be five. Now what I will do now is I will schedule a quick image. Also make sure to select the right player type. In this case, we're using an S6 SBB box. So I will just quickly drag and drop an image into the schedule and make sure to click on never expire in 24 hours just as a quick test hit save and provide it with a name publish to here you have to select your device again so I will go to my device group SBB and click on save and publish now the publish status will turn green very quickly because it's a very small image there we go now if i head over to device to open the remote control you can see the device is not showing the content yet so what I will do now is I will click on return and you will get this view. Press on OK again so you select the network channel and here is the content. So you can see that the content will be spread across your devices. So this is what a daisy chain connection does. It will spread the content across all devices and you will only need one SBB box for this. Thanks for watching.